Hi everyone, welcome to North and South Homestead. I'm Kim and we are in Tractor Supply and we are looking at some pitchforks. I need a pitchfork. Our old one is getting ready to break and I don't want to be without one. <laughs> so, going to be looking at these tools. See what we may or may not need. Okay, let's see if we can show you. Oh, there's some rain and stuff. Turning around here. Uh, hmm. I've got one for $34.99. And here's another one for $34.99. This is a five ton. What was the other one? Ten ton. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I've never had one with this many times on it before. That might be nice, or it might be a big mess. <laughs> Okay. Uh, huh. Hate to get one and regret it. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to go with this 10 time. It's $34.99. We'll see. It'll either be good or it'll be junk. <laughs> either way, we need. Oh, here's. Oh, here's a different one. There's one with six tines. It's pointed down. I think I'd rather have that one. Same price, thirty-four ninety-nine. Come hither, without knocking anything over, pitchfork. Okay, so this one has six times, which I think is what our other one has. And so I think I'm going to go with that one instead. Alrighty, in the cart you go. And hopefully without messing anything up. <laughs> okay, we have a pitchfork. Now I don't have to worry about ours breaking because we now have a backup. Um, I did have another one, but it did break and then I didn't get another one to replace it. Oh, look at these little kid garden hose. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Landon would have those broke in no time. He actually did have a set. And I would be surprised if there's any still left that isn't broke. <laughs> he told me today, I said, I'm going to go to Tractor Supply and I'm going to get a pitchfork. And he said, get me one too. And I said, you're too little to get a pitchfork. And he said, no, I'm not. Look how big I've grown. And I said, well, you're still not big enough to have your own pitchfork. And he said, I'm getting on my tablet, and I'm going to order me one so that I can have my own. And I said, well, you got to have money to do that. <laughs> but he wanted to get online and order him one. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. I don't think we really needed anything else. And so I guess I'm going to... Call it a day. Oh, look, they've got sheds in a box. Hmm. Wow. They are, that one is $329.99. This one's $269.99. Ooh, see, the problem with being out of debt and being a homesteader is you look at that and you say, that price, sheesh, I could build a permanent one. 
cheaper than that or for the same price and not have to worry about it messing up. <laughs> oh goodness. There's a 10 by 20 down on the bottom shelf um, canopy that's like a carport. It's $129.99. Huh, well, if you're in the market for a canopy <laughs> or a garage in a box and you don't have any kind of building skills at all, I guess that would work out great. Let's see what they got down here. Fire pit things. Hoses and heaters and bellows. Oh my! got kerosene heaters and uh, little portable I think those plug in yep Hello. let's see what else they got calendars and Christmas stuff on clearance Anything else interesting? The zip ties. Whoops! There goes the pitchfork in the floor. I do need a bag of zip ties. There we go. Pitchfork out of the floor. choking up. <clears throat> I had those goats in the car and those boy goats. So it wasn't just stinky goat smell. It was stinky boy goat smell. And I had to spray my car down before I came to the store. And I used Odaban on it and I sprayed a ton of it in there to get rid of that smell. And it's bothering me. Okay, well, now I'm all the way back to the tarps, and I don't need a tarp right now, plus I'd rather get them somewhere else, they're cheaper. So, I guess this is it. This is our trip to um, Tractor Supply to get a pitchfork and apparently some zip ties. <laughs> Alright, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, and God bless you.